Half of a tablespoon has four grams. It's like the softest nut ever. Good morning. <laughs> you are you are just chilling, aren't you? Good morning, guys. Elijah and I are taking a little walk. He really likes kind of lounging in this bassinet. Um, he likes it a lot more than the stroller seat at the moment, so not gonna fight it. We're just gonna let him lounge, put on his shades. We're just taking a morning walk. Mary's sleeping in this morning. She is still fighting. I'm I'm on the like tail end. Like I feel better from the cold. My voice is still a little raw, but um, Mary's body I think is still fighting. Uh, this cold, although, I mean, her body seems to be doing an amazing job at fighting it so far. Um, so, and Elijah is pretty much, um, well, he's still a little stuffed up, but he seem, he's acting like he feels better. And now he's eating his shades. Those sunglasses good, buddy? Yeah, man. So. We're just gonna take a little more morning walk while Mary sleeps in. And uh, yeah, morning guys, welcome to our day. Oh, last night, oh man, this is exciting. Last night, we got a membership at our local YMCA and they have an outdoor pool. We went to the outdoor pool for the first time. Elijah loved it, we loved it. All right, we're back. Elijah took a nap, I got work done. Mary's awake. A few days ago, Mary made... Did you already talk to them today? No, okay. Good morning, Mary. Uh, a few days ago, Mary made a bunch of little... Are these uh, non-breads? Non-bread pizzas? And uh, froze them, then vacuum sealed them. And we're gonna try popping them in the oven and see how they turn out, just as like freezer pizzas. So, I think that was a good idea. Oh, you want mushrooms on them. Okay. That's not my cup of tea, but canned mushrooms on pizza is Mary's jam. We're getting ready to run to a, like a whole, what's it? Not a whole, like a wholesale, wholesale store type of thing. It's like the bulk food section at Whole Foods, but not Whole Foods. It's a local little place. And they recycle they reuse glass jars like uh, salsa jars and that sort of thing they sanitize them and then you can use them instead of plastic bags and that sort of thing for the whatever you buy like flaxseed you can put them in the jars they just weigh the jar first so that they know how much it weighs and then they weigh it again and they'll know how much to charge you so we are gonna go there because I need to buy like flaxseed and a few random little things that I don't need like an entire pound of it. I just need like a small amount. So I'm just packing the breast milk cooler, which these coolers have been awesome, but really any small cooler would work. Um, I just need to get an ice pack and I'm actually gonna bring these jars with us because I think they're gonna be about the, same, the right size. That way I don't need to use their jars, but I think they have jars to use if if you need them. But I'm trying to decide if that seals well enough. That would be kind of annoying. I also have a few little jars like this. Hmm. Maybe I will bring a couple of these and then maybe I'll bring a couple of the green top ones too in case I need it. Okay, well, I guess I'm closing you guys in the cabinet. See you when we get to that cool store. I'm excited. All right, these are the jars I decided to bring. A uh, coconut oil jar, a regular ball jar, and some little ones. Okay, we're on our way and this bridge in front of us it has this sign that says, over height, turn now, basically. I can't see the whole thing, but that's basically what it says. And, oh yeah, it's blinking now. There is a bridge in Durham called the Can Opener. Yeah, it's not this one. Although apparently this one will open the can too. Yeah, 
it's like infamous for like there's a YouTube channel I think it's <laughs> I forget what it's called it's the height of the bridge is it like 11 I bet if you google Durham can opener bridge you'll yeah, find it yeah for sure and it's just videos of trucks hitting like the top of the trucks oh man it's so cringy and it like rips off the top of the truck so it opens the top of the truck up basically that's why it's the can opener and I mean if I'm honest, every time I get to one of those bridges where it's like, warning, too tall, I kind of hope the truck doesn't turn because, I mean, see it? I want to see it happen. Some, <laughs> someday, someday. Oh, this is the big downtown library and someday we're going to go there. We're so excited. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's literally like 15 minutes away from our house, so we should just make it happen and go sometime. It will happen eventually. I just looked over and saw this, well, there's a car. Saw this beautiful like wildflower in the middle of the city wildflower garden and be big beautiful sunflowers and I was like, that's Durham. Mm. Beautiful wildflowers in the middle of concrete. Yeah, that's super Durham. And also I think that this store we're going to is also super Durham-ish. Like on some of the sharing Facebook pages, somebody will be like, I have extra salsa jars, does anybody need them? And oftentimes people will say yes and come get them and reuse them. Or they'll say like, oh, you can take them to part and parcel or whatever. And I just love that, like reusing stuff, sharing stuff. Like I mentioned a couple days ago, how I traded, somebody had some cloth diapers they were done with, and I traded her some of my original artwork for the diapers. Like, that's Durham, <laughs> totally. Also, while we're on the Durham kick, look at this amazingly cool brick wall that they left, like an original brick wall, and then it's just a modern building behind it. It's really cool. Yeah, bud. All right, we're pulling in. Oh yeah, I was right, it's called the Bulk Store. Perfect. Nice. I couldn't figure out how to describe it. I was saying like wholesale or something. All right. Enter at your own risk. You draw on the scale, and see how much it weighs, and then you can either write somewhere on the container, or you get a little strip of tape. And then you write down the weight, and then you just fill it up and bring it up to me, and I weigh it in price per Okay, awesome. Thank you. Yep. If you guys have any questions, you need any help, let me know. Awesome. Thank you. Oh man, this is so cool. I don't know. Maybe we'll look around first and determine how many we'll need. Oh my goodness. So cool. Go to sleep, buddy. Okay, so um, I have a picture on my phone, which isn't that bad, of things that I need. Uh, buckwheat. Just like half. That was 
so magical and it makes me think as Elijah gets older, he might be like, oh, here we go with his little old woman voice. Let's go to part and parcel. <laughs> yep. We'll be like, okay, let's get all the jars. Um, one of the things I saw at the last minute were these peanut butter chocolate chips. I ran out of jars, but we just used one of theirs. They don't charge you for it. I just think like they had freeze dried corn and like dried figs and all this unique fun stuff. It's pretty fun, yeah. It's fun. And we didn't need like an entire container of uh, like polenta or whatever. Um, it's stuff we can introduce Elijah to as he starts eating in the next few weeks. And um, I didn't need to buy an entire container of it. So we bought a couple tablespoons. Enough to make one, <laughs> one bite. It was really fun. There's something extremely satisfying about hearing the yuck yeah. and the metal funnel oh, yeah. clink into the jar. Mm. And the fact that there's no packaging. Now, when they purchase the bulk oats or whatever, I'm sure it comes in a bag or a something. So there's some packaging, but when we go to buy it, there's no packaging. The camera screen is flickering, which reminds me we need to stop at the dollar store to get a eyeglasses repair kit. Yes, sorry so, about the clinking, because this basically the screen is coming detached. It's happened like four times to this camera and it's still doing fine, so. We, we just, just get an eyeglass kit and use the screw and basically the screw falls out and we gotta replace it. So, UPS yep. drop off and then Dollar Tree, okay. I guess. Yep. Or maybe when we go to the UPS, maybe we just go down to that Walgreens. Sure, I forgot we were going to UPS. So gone a little further. Um, I guess we can just yep. get back on. Um, let me figure out where we are. Okay. Well, scratch that. We're not actually going to go to UPS or Dollar Tree. Elijah was getting really sleepy, so he didn't end up taking a nap in the carrier. So um, we needed to bring him home, put him to sleep. So I thought I'd show you what we got at part and parcel. Well, I already showed you the peanut butter chips. I already ate most of them. We got the polenta, some red kidney beans, bulgur. Is that what that one was? I think that one was, oh man, I should have written it down. Peter might remember. Um, some quinoa, French green lentils, barley, and hemp hearts. And our total was $11. So we were thinking maybe it's cheaper. If you need a lot of this stuff, it's cheaper to buy it in a big pound pack of kidney beans. But since I probably wouldn't be able to go through a whole entire bag of uh, bulgur or whatever grain, like unique grains that we don't typically eat, but it's good to expose the bebe. That is so cool. That is a cool looking grain. Let me see if you guys can see this. And what I'll do is I will just Google it whenever I'm gonna make this for him. How to cook bulgur. How to cook polenta. I guess I could have gotten a little bit more polenta because Peter and I would probably eat it, but that's okay. So eight things for $11, but Quinoa, I think, tends to be kind of expensive. I didn't see how much it was, but I got, you know, what is this, almost two cups? Uh, let's see, maybe a cup and a half of it. So that was probably the most, well, yeah, that was the most expensive one. I'm going to make an iced coffee and finish these peanut butter chocolate chips. Oops, it's gonna be delicious. All right, that's gonna be a good combo. Ooh, that was not as cold as I was expecting. Put in a butter chocolate chip. Yes, that is good. Funny you should ask. Peter just said, what are hemp hearts? So can you Google that please? Okay. I know that they have a lot of 
iron in them, I believe. Derived from the cannabis sativa plant, hemp parts are simply the soft inner part of hemp seeds once they've been unshilled. They're squishy center, if you will. Technically a nut. A nut? Okay, so. They have a mild nutty flavor. Um, protein requirements for seven to 12 month olds is 11 grams per day. An egg, or half of an egg has three grams, a quarter of a cup of black beans has four grams, half of a tablespoon has four grams. Oh, half, a, half a tablespoon of these. Wow. Isn't that so crazy? They're just packed full of protein. Yeah, so I thought that we should probably taste them. Mm -hmm. So for a baby, like if you have a spear of, um, I guess we could probably share this. Mm. A spear of uh, uh, avocado, you can like cover it with this because the avocado might be like slippery. Mm. Oh, oh, mm. I rained them everywhere. They're raining off my chin. Mm. Um, Very mild. Really good. I, I don't taste much. Mm -mm. It's almost a little sweet and nutty. Mm -hmm. And um, kind of like a sesame seed. Like it feels like that. Yeah. That is so good. So mm. they're protein. Is that what it was? Mm-hmm. Protein. Uh, they're a little unruly. They're everywhere. So, so what do you, like, you, I know you can coat stuff, but like, what would people You could buy? put them on a salad. Mm. It's so good. I kind of want to get a spoon and like get a good bite of them. But it's so true. Like, look at this. To, if we were to buy a pack, we would have spent like $12. Yeah. And we didn't need a whole pack. Right. Although maybe we did. Oh yeah. I'm getting a fuller flavor now. It's like the softest nut ever. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Do you want to try a bigger one? Oh, bite? this says think of this tasty soft inside of a sunflower seed. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. Yep. That's pretty close. Do you want to try it? Sure. Oh yeah. That's good. Now that I've like read the sunflower seed, yeah, that's pretty. That's delicious. Hmm. Oh wow, yeah. That's pretty amazing that it's just so packed full of protein. I know, and probably other stuff too. One teaspoon is 2.3 milligrams of calcium, omega, uh, 0.3 milligrams of omega threes, some zinc, some potassium, and some protein. Mm-hmm. Oh, like there's a whole thing, how to, what to do with it. Mm. How to incorporate it into a six month old's diet. Mix it into fruit and veggie purees, oatmeal and yogurt, blend it into mac and cheese, use it as a toast topper, like avocado toast, sprinkle mm -hmm. some on top, and add it into baked goods like muffins. Yeah, that'd be great. Cool. And also I'm noticing the explosion that is our living room. Oh my. I'm gonna deal with that. All right, thanks. I am putting dinner on the grill. We're doing some salmon. I did maple and mustard. And then I saved a little piece for Elijah. Not yet, but I'm gonna cook it. And then Mary's gonna make a little salmon cake for when he start, put it in the freezer for when he starts feeding time. We're, we're excited about this, if you can't tell. You guys ready for this? Elijah's well, listening to some jazz music while we eat our dinner. Oh, it looks so good. Mary put hemp hearts on her salmon. I mean, that is pretty cool. I should taste it. See if it was a good idea. Looks good. Let's see. Definitely a good idea. By the way, the living room looks good, huh? Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. It was a good idea? Yeah. Does I, it add? I don't taste it. Okay, yeah, I was thinking it's... But maybe I do. I, I wish we had known about that. That would have been like in the days of like trying to get you packed with protein and calories. 
That would have been a nice thing to have in the arsenal. I say that's cool a book. nice addition. Nice addition. Okay, there you go. Hemp parts on your salmon. All right, we're going to eat. Did you tell them what we might so do good. after dinner? Mm -mm. We might go back to the pool tonight and just do a quick swim before Elijah's bedtime. Get some energy out. Enjoy uh, the pool on this hot day. What is that water? Oh, it's my glass of water. Ooh. Flickering on your Fancy. face. Fancy, it's like a special filter. Thanks for joining us on this fun day, guys. We'll see you next time.